Now, you may have seen photos online or in the papers this morning of the American television presenter posing with wild animals, a goat and a sheep, that she shot dead on a hunting holiday in Scotland. Now, this is Larissa Switlick, who describes herself as a professional huntress. She posed several pictures of herself smiling behind the animals. She shot them on the island of Isla on what's thought to be a private shooting expedition. The Scottish government has now said that it's considering whether the law needs to be changed. Well, Charlie Jacoby presents a weekly hunting show on YouTube called Field Sports Channel and joins me now. Charlie, good to see you. Uh, I think we need to emphasise, first of all, there is nothing unlawful going on here, uh, but it's the sight of her with the dead animals that many people are objecting to. Well, not only is there nothing unlawful going on, the Scottish Government actually wants these animals shot. They've told the states to shoot them. And I think there's a, there's a few things going on here. But people are not liking the idea of trophy hunting. They're not liking the idea of killing animals at all. And as you say, they're particularly not liking the idea of somebody who shoots an animal then posting a photograph of it. What do you think of it? Well, I think all those three things are fine. I mean, from uh, the shooting community's point of view, and there are an awful lot of this, there's 150,000 people in the UK with a rifle licence who, who carry out this work. We, we manage the deer population so that the, the deer you see out of the window of your car or your train are healthy. If we didn't do that, and uh, various people have tried not to do that because they have no natural predators in this country, then you'll see deer staggering around, starving to death and dying of disease. So you, in, in some ways, you know, you can thank us for the lovely deer you can see. So from the management point of view, there's, there's no case to answer here. From the trophy side, if I've got to manage some deer and somebody comes along and says, look, I'll give you a thousand quid, as long as I am sure that 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 they will be safe and, and humane, because if they're not, I risk losing my rifle licence, which is very, very difficult to get hold of, then I get a thousand quid. That, that I'm, I'm very happy with that. And then the third thing is the photograph. Now, there were intercultural differences. So in America, that's, that's perfectly acceptable. A little bit less so over here. We're not such a kind of trophy hunting nation compared to America. I mean, Larissa literally goes to Africa to decorate her house. I know Larissa. She's a friend of mine. She contributes to our programme. Uh, I don't judge her badly for that, but I know that there are lots of people who don't like that. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it, it's a cultural question, as you say. It, it's a matter of taste, this, isn't it? It just looks bad taste. I don't take pictures of myself with, with large animals, generally speaking, because either I, I look smug and self-satisfied or I look kind of gloomy and cross. Which is exactly how she looks, to be honest, Charlie, in the picture we're showing now. Yeah, but then you see, I, I do keep, you know, I keep the antlers of the deer, actually. I have no idea why. Um, I, but I like looking at them and I like remembering that incredibly exciting day when I went out and, and I stalked that particular animal. So... The thing is, we're looking at you, and you, you don't look like she does, to be fair. Uh, <laughs> you know, I, if I she'll, saw she'll you out... She'll be very flattered, thank you. <laughs> you know, yeah, reading between the lines. Uh, but you know that if, if I saw you shooting whatever you're shooting on the island of Isla, I would say, well, I can understand that there's a job being done there, and, and he looks a responsible member of society to be able to do that. If I see uh, someone who looks straight out of the pages of Hollywood coming over with their gun, full makeup shooting these animals dead and then posing a photograph of that, that seems to take us into a different realm. And I suspect that's what people are slightly uncomfortable with. They are. I mean, it's their own choice to look at these photographs. I and mean, we, we have... Well, you know, hang we on. She's posted it on Twitter. She wants people to see it, and now she's you, regretting it, clearly. You, no, not... No, I spoke to her yesterday. She's just getting onto a bush plane in Australia and going off on a two-week hunting trip, so she, she's not available to, to make any comment at the moment. No, she, I mean, she would... She would fight back at this, I'm sure. But the, 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 the point is these photographs uh, go out to our community. I mean, we're watched by nine million people on, on YouTube. They don't mind these photographs. It's, this, it's when somebody from the anti-hunting side reposts the photograph to their community that, that we suddenly get all these brickbats. It's, it's pretty... I mean, I've been looking at her account before she sh shut it down. I mean, some of the response has been pretty disgusting. And obviously that's, that's not something anybody would condone. No, and, and, and that is something that has happened this week. I mean, we've had quite a week of it. We had the uh, trophy hunting in Woburn story earlier in the week. We had that um, pretty awful fat American shooting an elephant in Namibia. But, I mean, you have to remember the money that those two things produce are what pays for conservation. So if you're looking at it purely from the point of view of, you know, what's good for the animals, hunt, you might not like the hunters, but the, the, the money is, is good for conservation. Yeah, the trouble is, inevitably, uh, you're going to think back to those pictures of, of the, the dentist with Cecil the lion. I mean, sometimes people just get it wrong. 
Yeah, I mean, again, uh, that turned out to be a, a legal hunt and uh, the campfire project, which puts money back into hunting in Zimbabwe, very like the Naxo project in Namibia, uh, it, it, it pays for an awful lot. Unfortunately, I mean, the, people go on photographic safaris, but they don't spend enough money to support the animals. And it's slightly different in Africa uh, as it is to over here. But it, in Africa, it's all about the money. And if you don't have hunting, as we saw in Namibia when they banded in 2014, then the locals go, well, what's the point of all these animals? And they, and, they, and they poison them and they snare them uh, and they get rid of them. When you do have hunting, you have wildlife winners like Namibia, South Africa and Zimbabwe. Kenya and, and, and Botswana are the wildlife losers at the moment. Charlie, it's very good of you to join us. Thank you very much for that. And uh, don't forget, you can let us know what you think about this story. You can tweet us using the hashtag Afternoon Live. And uh, just to uh, il illustrate the point, really, as to what... Um, uh, she's been tweeting um, these one of the photographs that people have objected to uh, but as Charlie was saying there's nothing illegal in what she's doing in fact uh, helping in the local wildlife management you may have a different view if you have do let us know what you think you're watching afternoon live and that is the way to do so to get in touch with me there's my Twitter address uh, use the hashtag afternoon live or you can text us and uh, we'll keep an eye on those throughout the afternoon because a lot of you are very upset by these images. Uh, but some of you are making the point that J Charlie was there too, that uh, actually this is helping wildlife, not killing it. Now, you may have seen photos online or in the papers this morning of an American television presenter posing with wild animals, a goat and a sheep, that she shot dead on a hunting holiday in Scotland. Larissa Switlick, who describes herself as a professional huntress, posted several pictures of herself smiling behind the dead animals. She shot them on the island of Isla on what's thought to be a private shooting expedition. The Scottish government has now said that it's considering whether the law needs to be changed. Well, I can talk now to Stuart Stevenson, MSP, a member of the SNP, who also sits on the Scottish Environment Committee. Good afternoon to you. Good afternoon, Simon. She's done nothing illegal, so do you understand why people are upset by this? She's done nothing illegal, but she's certainly done something that doesn't help our burgeoning tourist industry for the island of Islay, where whiskey and tourism are the two major economic drivers. Uh, this is not the sort of image that we want to see uh, for our beautiful landscape and for animals that are not particularly common, feral goats, feral sheep, uh, that are wonderful additions to what people will see when they go to places like Ireland. But we've already heard from, from, from an, another uh, hunter on the island who says that, that they are asked to carry this out because these animals um, quite legitimately are, uh, their lives are cut short because they need to be, because they need to keep these species fit, young and, and going well on the island. It's certainly entirely proper that we manage uh, resources such as uh, wild goats, wild sheep, deer for that matter, but we need to do so in, the, in a framework that protects the interests of these animals and makes sure there's no suffering associated with uh, uh, this activity, make sure that we do preserve sustainable stocks of these wild goats and sheep. I mean, they're just magnificent animals to look at. They're something that people come to the island of Islay and other places to see. And having this sort of uh, pretty haphazard, uncontrolled approach uh, for the self-glorification of some person from America with a gun simply isn't the image we want, simply isn't the approach we want to take to having a properly managed uh, population of these animals. Now, th this is the point, though, isn't it? And Nicola Sturgeon, in her tweet yesterday, said, totally understandable why the images from Isla of dead animals being held up as trophies is so, ups so upsetting. It, it, it's these images that, that seem to have got people upset. Well, I think people do correctly respond to images of uh, someone who describes themselves as a professional hunter. I'm not sure that it's an accurate description, but describes herself in those terms, showing Well, she off... travels the world hunting uh, and, and makes money out of it, so that's exactly what she is. Well, I'm not going to debate that subject, but the bottom line is that we've got a comparatively small localised population of beautiful animals that contribute to the local ecology, that are part of the tourism offer in Isla and other places around Scotland. And I think it's entirely proper that we revisit the regime that covers such 
shooting expeditions to make sure that we have a proper environment for this happening. And I think we need to send a very different image from Isla, from Scotland, that we welcome people who come to see our natural environment, who want to view our wildlife, be that feral or be that truly wild, we welcome you to come and visit and look at these beautiful animals. Stuart, am I right in thinking that you're, are you calling for a total ban on, on this sort of hunting of these sorts of animals? Hunting has a proper place in our economy. Uh, years of mismanagement, for example, of deer mean that uh, there is a commercial opportunity to bring people in and uh, shoot deer, and that's of significant economic value. I think it's less certain in relation to these beautiful goats and sheep. The bottom line is we need a better regulated regime to manage uh, this. We will, of course, from time to time have to cull uh, the sick from the herd, but more fundamentally to protect the overall shape of the environment in which they live. The bottom line is we can't have this kind of image going from Scotland, which is a terrific tourist destination. We'd rather people came to see these animals in the natural environment, augmenting it, delightful animals they are, will draw tourists to us. This kind of image simply doesn't help. Stuart Stevenson, MSP, thank you so much for your time this afternoon. Now, you may have seen photographs online or in the papers of an American television presenter posing with wild animals, a goat and a sheep that she shot dead on a hunting holiday in Scotland. Larissa Switlick, who describes herself as a professional huntress, posted several pictures of herself smiling behind the animals. She shot them on the island of Isla on what's thought to be a private shooting expedition. Well, the Scottish government has now said that it's considering whether the law needs to be changed. Well, uh, joining me now is Alistair Redman, who's a native of Isla and represents the island on the local council. Uh, good evening. Thank you for coming on. Good evening. Thank you for having me. Um, I mentioned the social media reaction. What's been the reaction in Isla to all of this? Well, this is, is the real issue here. I think, frankly, that there is a divide between the reaction on the island, which is perhaps less bothered by this, and the reaction on social media. And I'm always anxious that government legislation seems to be being affected by social media outrage. Uh, what happens in, in rural constituencies across our United Kingdom and in rural Scotland, there is a culture difference and hunting does go on. And this is part of the rural economy and we can't deny that. So although there is an outrage on Twitter among some urban based peoples, certainly the constituents I have been speaking to on a regular basis don't have these concerns and understand that culling and ma maintenance of the correct sort of level of population is very important. And we can't have animals overpopulating. It's bad for the health of the animals and bad for the local environment. Culling has to happen. It's part of uh, the process of maintaining the land. Uh, that, that's an organized process to, as you say, maintain the land. What seems to have caused uh, dissent here is somebody doing what she did and then in a quite triumphant fashion choosing to put it online. Do you see why that might have caused greater disquiet? Yeah, there is a difference between hunting in, in North America where that goes on a lot and hunting in Great Britain where we don't do that. That's merely a cultural difference between Canada and America and perhaps Australia and South Africa compared to hunting in Great Britain and in Scotland we tend not to pose for, for trophy pictures like that. Um, but the process is very similar. Um, and if we're talking about a debate on hunting, then if we are to, to get rid of hunting in Scotland, which I, I would hate to see, we would see 155 million pounds that comes to the Scottish economy disappear. And that wouldn't disappear completely. It would go to other areas. It would go to our Ulster province. It would go to Wales. It would go to England. So really all we end up doing uh, by changing legislation and changing rules is damaging the economy in rural Scotland and we have many challenges uh, depopulation quality lack of quality jobs for, for younger people uh, the need to keep families in our rural constituencies this would just be another blow to rural mm. Scotland it, it and I wouldn't like to see that uh, it depends what you hunt doesn't it because I mean one of the points raised by some who've commented on this I mean I'm looking at what 
Mike Russell, the Scottish Government's Brexit Secretary, has said he was horrified by these particular posts. He's called for the hunting of goats on Isla to be stopped immediately, but says that is a very different situation uh, from the hunting of red deer, which is very firmly, firmly regulated. So there are nuances to this debate, aren't there? I would say that the Brexit Secretary in Scotland should have better things to do with his time. Uh, there's a lot bigger fish he could be frying. And again, uh, these goats that have been hunted are not indigenous of Isla and their population has to be controlled. Otherwise, they will damage their local environment, overpopulate and starve themselves. Populations have to be controlled. There is no birth control in the animal kingdom. Okay. Uh, on that note, I think everybody can agree. Uh, Alistair Redmond, thank you very much indeed for coming on.